here it comes, updating the wheel to green. It's Torok Dinosaur Hunter, spin the wheel! <laughs> round and round she goes, where she stops, time will tell. God, no. No! No! <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, everybody, we're going back in time. Do you remember Turok Dinosaur Hunter from the N64 days? <laughs> it's Turok. We're playing Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Start the timer. <laughs> this game was one of the early games on... Fucking N64. This is the HD re release of Turok. I'm gonna play as a keyboard and mouse, which will probably make the game the easiest video game experience of my life. Because this was made to be using uh, the N64 controller. <laughs> this sure is graphics. Oh, yes, this is awful already. Good lord! <coughs> Options. <coughs> what the hell is this font? Yeah, I, w I want to not handle like I'm on a, a bicycle or a boat in the ocean. Oh, I have to sit back to really see the font. Generic weapon bobbing. Off. Great. <clears throat> Yeah, no, this is the, the 1993 N64 Edgy Dev Starter Kit, The Font. Uh, Aerith, you're right. That is exactly what this is. Oh my god. So the N64 is a console I have a lot of fond memories of, but I have to tell you, it's also the console that I wasted the most, like, allowance on. The N64 was like, hey, do you want to play... A first-person shooter where you kill dinosaurs? I was like, yeah! Uh, and let me tell you... <coughs> I regretted this purchase. A lot! I, regret I regretted this purchase a lot. The N64 also did Quest 64 to me. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it is not... It is not the most culturally sensitive game. How, how do you aim your gun? There's no reticle! There's, there's no aiming reticle! Graphics? Gameplay. What the fuck? Well, there's no reticle. We just, we just point and pray. Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm so sad that I put this on the wheel. Do I just, like, put it in the general direction and people die? Best game ever made. I'm shooting dinosaurs. Please make it stop. <laughs> I did this to myself, it's true. <laughs> ah, I hate this rock! Oh, his face is the worst. His face was the worst. Am I out of bullets already? Oh, the screen flash is real great. Mortal wound. Hey, hey! Well, I don't like this. A bunch of people showed up because of that. 
Uh. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, God. Got him. <laughs> he just stopped hurting us. I'm sorry. You have to experience what I wasted my allowance on. I saved up for a while, and I, I spent the allowance on this. You're close to barfing? Imagine what I feel. How much was this? It came as a terrible, terrible burden as part of the Humble Bundle. When I bought it as a child, yeah, it was like 50 bucks or something. You picked Turok when you were doing your, your bundle? Yeah, no, you shouldn't have picked Turok. This is what you picked. You picked this. I picked it because, like, I owned a couple of the other games and I was like, yeah, fine. I guess I'm curious about what this was as a child. When this game came out on the N64, it was a fully priced N64 cartridge, which was probably like 60 bucks. Someone tell me, like, go on Steam and tell me how much this costs if you were to buy it brand new on Steam right now. You just pick based on the cover? Yeah, the cover was promising, but it was a lie. This game is like, I'm already having an aneurysm, I think. Die, dinosaur. It's $20? That is $19.99 more than this should cost. Like, this was a bad game when it came out. It's overwhelmingly positive? Are you serious? Nostalgia is a powerful, powerful drug. I guess people have fond memories of this. You took your glasses off so you can't see and you're not looking at any screens. You're just gonna listen to the soothing sounds of compressed audio. Oh, that's 53 minutes, my friend. I'm sorry. I believe too many people consider this a good game. This version plays better than the N64, so if you're a Turok fan, you will enjoy this. I'm gonna tell you right now, I hated Turok 1. Uh, Turok 3? I picked up, like, the last N64 Turok game, or it might have been on the GameCube or something. Basically, one of the Turok games came with a weapon called the Cerebral Roar, and, and motion- not motion sickness. It does come with motion sickness. It came with, um... A multiplayer. It was a multiplayer experience, one of those Turoks. That one was fun just for the multiplayer, because the Cerebral Roar was a dumb weapon and I loved it. So let's start a pull for spin or stay. What, you, you guys aren't having fun? Are you saying this game's not not winning the wheel? Do I climb this? I climb this. <laughs> Everyone vote to spin. Your only hope is Jimmy. <laughs> Gotta beat the boss! Ow. Why would you auto-switch to my fist weapon? Come on. Leaning left and right. I don't know what they were thinking with the animation. The knife one shot every. Yeah, I wasn't gonna one shot the boss though. Oh, sweet lord. It's so fast though. I do like that part of it. You move at like 100 miles per hour. Why'd that explode? Do I have exploding arrows? Oh, of course the monkeys are immune to damage. You're a Quake 1 mod. Yeah, basically. Who made this game, by the way? Does anyone remember who made Turok Dinosaur Hunter? Damn it. Didn't want to waste one of my exploding arrows. Terrible people. It was an early 90s first-person shooter. For that, it's actually pretty good. I'm gonna say I didn't like the game as a kid, but... A lot of that was technical limitations. Like, you should see what this game looks like on the N64. 
Like, you know how I could see all the enemies right now? That is not how this game played in the N64. This game was made of fog. It was fog all the way. You couldn't see five feet in front of your character. Like, everything just came screaming out of the fog at you. Please hold, sir. I missed the fog. Yep, first person 3D platforming on the N64. Most N64 games were. No, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I'm just puking in my mouth a little bit. Most N64 games were miss rather than hits. When they hit, they hit real hard and they were real good. But yeah, no, there were a lot of bad games in the N64. Like I said, no console made me waste more, uh, more of my allowance than the N64 did. Wait, no, I'm going back? That can't be right. Thank, thank you, Turok. Quest 64, Turok. A bunch of games were bad investments by Child Chris. Do you wish to save your- absolutely not, I'm not gonna pick this up. This is a one-time experience for me. Imagine being a fan <laughs> of Turok Dinosaur Hunter. Oh, I love that stock Jaguar sound. Jaguar. Let it live somewhere in your hard drive. Save the game. You remember enjoying Quest 64, Rip? I mean, you're not alone. Other people did enjoy Quest 64. I hated Quest 64. This game is making my neck hurt, it's making my eyes hurt, it's making my head hurt. But I'm also addicted to pain, so I'm just gonna, gonna keep going for a little bit. Oh, it's not a one-shot to kill on dinosaurs! People are weak to knives. Dinosaurs are strong to knives. This came out the same year as Goldeneye. Yes! I remember. Let's go back to Reventure. We 100%ed uh, Reventure. Like, there's nothing left in Reventure for us. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Shoot a deer, and candy comes out. This is abysmal. I am starting to get very sick. We only have a half an hour left to stream. Someone tell me what to do for half an hour. <laughs> Uninstall this for half an hour. Roll a Wizardry 7 characters? Alright, that's a good option. Slay the Spire is definitely longer than half an hour. Otherwise, I would definitely consider that one. You're doing it, dear. I mean, Shadowverse isn't a bad suggestion. That did have an expansion come out. Man, chat overwhelmingly is desperate to get out of here. Oxygen Included for half an hour would barely scratch the surface of Oxygen Included, though. Speedrun a colony? I don't think we can do much. Having a seizure for 30 minutes? Alright, you guys have spoken. This game is obviously hurting everybody. <laughs> Let's quit this. Alright, so Turok Dinosaur Hunter uh, did not succeed.